Okay, now look at the next important part that is the flower. Okay, so the flower has got different parts. We observe the flower for different plants and trees. But the general difference that you observe between the leaf and flower, if you observe the color of leaf of any plant or tree, mostly it is green, right? You may be seeing so many kind of plants, herbs, shrubs, trees around you in the garden, but all of them will be wearing, bearing green color leaves. But how about flowers? Do you find the same color, similar shaped or patterned flowers on all the trees and plants? No. Okay, so you find flowers in different colors, flowers with different fragrances. So there is a lot of variety difference in the flowers and most important thing is the flowers are very attractive. So why they are so attractive? Why they are differently colored? Why certain flowers they release the sweet fragrance, sweet smell? Do you know the reasons for all these questions? Okay, so let us explore the parts of a flower first, right? And after that, I will tell you the answer to the questions that I have put. Meanwhile, we will see what are the various parts of a flower. So flowers, even though they appear in different colors, we find some similar structures in the flowers, right? So the flower, when it is in the form of a bud, you see, when the flower is like a bud, it is covered by some green color leaves. The flower is like a bud on the surface, some green color, which are called as sepals, sepals. So sepals are the outermost layer or covering of a flower, sepal. So the sepals, they are covering the colorful ones of the flower, which are the main attraction. So what is the colored part of a flower? Sometimes, of course, they are white in color. Sometimes they are red in color, pink in color, orange in color, and number of colors, purple color, blue color, likewise. So those are the petals. So petals are the attractive part, petal. Right, sepals, petals. Now, inside that, there are some interesting structures. What are those? There you find some stick-like, stand-like structures, finger-like projections called as stamens. So this whole thing is called as a stamen. The stamen itself has got two parts. One is the top part is called as filament and the bottom one is called as anther. Anther and filament together called as stamens. So this stamen has got two different parts. Each stamen is made up of two parts. Let me draw over here. So this is the filament part of the stamen, filament and above the filament there you find anther. So together anther and filament, anther plus filament together you call it as stamen, stamens, right? So we find stamens in the plants, in the flower. Of course, some flowers do not contain stamens. Some flowers may contain stamens, right? So we will find one more part in the flowers that is the pistil. This is called as pistil. The center one, the whole thing is called as a pistil. You can observe a shape here that is just looks like a flower vase. That is the pistil. Again, the pistil has got three distinct parts. This is called as stigma. This is called as style. And this part is called as ovary. 
right? So now, again in the ovary, just if you cut the ovary with the help of a blade, if you make a thin section and see that, what is there inside, you can find small ovules. So a flower, it consists of sepals, petals, stamens, pistil. It's a typical flower. That means I have drawn a flower which is having all the parts. But practically, in general, some flowers may not have stamens. They have only pistil, petals, sepals. Some flowers may not have pistils. They have only stamens, petals, sepals. But some flowers, they may have all the things like stamens, pistil, petals and sepals. Right. So, here we have seen the different parts of the flower. Here we are not going to mention the functions of these parts because that you are going to learn in your higher classes. Right. Here just we are studying the anatomy. Just we are studying the cross section of a flower. What is there inside? Right. So, here if you open the flower, that means if you pluck some petals, you can see these parts, but you cannot see the ovules because they are embedded inside the ovary. So, how do you find the ovules that you need to perform an activity? But here, you must be taking the caution that you have to work with a fine blade. So, you cannot do that on your own. Take the help, assistance of any elders or teachers. Let it be a teacher demonstration. Your teacher will dissect that She'll cut the ovary into two halves with the help of a fine short blade. So when it is cut, it's height wise. That means vertical section. So inside you can see so many ovules. Right. So you know one fact, the fruits, they develop from the flowers. That means this flower, after some time, it turns into a fruit. But which part of this flower becomes the fruit? Do you know? Is it the sepals or the petals or stamens or pistil? Yes, the answer is the pistil. So the pistil, it grows up in size and it becomes the fruit. Then you have some seeds in the fruit. Which parts become the seeds in the fruit? So the ovary becomes the fruit, the ovules, they turn into seeds. So when you, when you eat a fruit, the peeps, or the seeds that you are throwing out, those are the ovules. The part, the fleshy part that you are eating is the ovary of a flower, right? So the flowers, they change into fruits. That's a big story. How a flower changes to a fruit, it's a big story. So when you study that story in your higher classes 7 and 8, then you will understand the function of each and every part of this flower. So I told you that, I'll give answers to the questions why flowers they have colorful petals and why they have sweet fragrance. So that is, you know that the flowers they need the help of insects to turn into fruits. So flowers to attract the insects they have colorful petals and they have good fragrance, nice sweet smell to attract the insects. So now here we forgot to mention about one important part. That is, you see that all the parts of the flower, all the parts of the flower, they are arranged. Here they are connected and it is held by a stalk called as peduncle. Peduncle. So this is the one on which all these parts are attached to that. Right children? So we have seen the importance of different parts, the functioning as well as the structure of different parts of the plant, we began with the stem, leaf, root and flowers, right? So in the higher classes, you study about the other parts like fruits and buds of the plant, okay? So here we have gone through the different parts and their function. So we understood so many things about the plant and its functioning. That is the inner structure, the working of the plant in which you have learned different points about the leaf, roots, stem and flower. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.